The big TV brands made their presentations at CES today, but there was only one star, and that was Intel. Please welcome the world's first data-only band, Algorithm and Blue. It's the ultimate air guitar, or air anything really. Sensors on the body relay movement that creates music. Same deal with dancing. This 12-year-old girl lighting up the stage with the most awesome backup crew ever. It was like a scene out of Tron. Straight after that, Intel addressed the elephant in the room, security. As of now, we have not received any information that these exploits have been used to obtain customer data. The best thing you can do to make sure your data remains safe is to apply any updates. Then the show went right on. Sport will never be the same with true VR using an array of high resolution cameras to put viewers right on the field anywhere, even in the player's position. Intel is using the same technology in a custom built studio dome. With 100 cameras, it takes a flat scene like this and turns it into a 3D adventure, just like the Matrix. This passenger drone from Germany will soon be flying people across cities. Today, it was flying indoors, on stage, with a few safety precautions. It had to be a first. This definitely was an indoor flight of 100 drones, no GPS and controlled by one person. There was plenty more, too much to cover now, so Intel will be hard to top. I really hope you enjoyed the new member of our family. When it comes to TVs, Everyone is jumping on the OLED bandwagon, except for Samsung. The micro LED does not sacrifice brightness or viewing angle, and the Samsung micro LED is modular, meaning any size you want, any configuration you can think of, this TV's design transforms the concept of what's possible. This is the TV without the trade-offs experienced in other technologies like OLED. It uses non-organic materials. Elsewhere, Hisense announced its first OLED TV and select models of its ULED 4K range will ship with 1000 zone local dimming. This means improved contrast range, giving greater detail and shadows. LG's OLED and Super UHD TVs get a processor bump. The wallpaper TV is pretty hard to improve on, so there wasn't much new for consumers aside from the tighter integration with Google Assistant, making the TVs the household hub. More OLEDs over at Panasonic too. There's a new camera, the GH5S. The sensor's been slashed to just 10.2 megapixels. That's to allow for a massive boost in light sensitivity. The ISO now 51,200. Sony's backing up its stunning A1 OLED with new 55 and 65 inch HDR models, the A8F series. There was a lot more of course, but too much to go through right now, including Sony's Ibo robot. That little dog is making a comeback, seen for the first time out of Japan, the new version that is, and we'll have more from CES tomorrow.